Well, seconds and inches, that's all that separated one Jackson family from being crushed by a falling tree during tonight's severe weather. Tonight, the father of twin girls and husband to a pregnant wife talks about their near-death experience to News Channel 12's Jacob Kittlestad, who is starting off our team coverage. Crews wielding chainsaws cut through the giant tree blocking Old Canton Road this evening. Uh, but it doesn't appear that it was one of the cedar trees. It was an adjacent tree right on the property line. But it did not hit the pavement first. Glass was breaking and metal was crunching. Sam Watson and, uh, says he was in this van riding home after picking up his kids from daycare. And there's all kinds of glass in my daughter's seat and on the floor and first your brain just locks up and I thought we hit the world's largest pothole and I just you know you're stunned and it's just incredible that it didn't crush the, the car more I mean it's a it's, good job Honda because <laughs> it's uh, no one was injured Watson says his insurance company understands why they drove home immediately after the only blood drawn was on one of his daughter's hands and the family is still shaken but Watson is feeling a little euphoric because the roof actually came down and, and touched me I was just like we're alive, we're alive, woo, you know, because uh, I just realized a half second difference and it could have been it, you know, uh, or just serious life changing injury. An unpredicted fall. I think they've been here about 160 years. Only moments away from tragedy. In Hines County, Jacob Kittlestad, News Channel 12. <laughs> And the road has since been cleared of the tree. Authorities on the scene blame a lightning striking a power pole for weakening the tree.